Hello everyone, welcome to our channel, welcome to Maggie Bee's Family TV. Hi. If you are new here, you are absolutely welcome. Please check our videos and see if it is something that you would like or someone that you know would like it. Please subscribe to our channel. And for our returning subscriber, we appreciate you. You are welcome here. Please, if you have any tutorial that you want us to do, let us know. Drop your comment in the comment section. We will always answer. What are we going to be doing today in today's video? Hmm, I will be showing you how to cut this sleeve i actually sew this dress and if you want me to make something like this on my channel let me know i know we do mostly bead work but i tell you i'm going to be giving you different different type of things but well i don't like sharing cooking <laughs> first some people have asked me already to share some tip about some you know africa ditches which i will do in the future i'm going to show you how i sew it and you may say, oh, I don't even know how to sew a dress to place on cutting this sleeve. If you know how to draw a circle, you can sew this. If you know how to write a S, you can cut this. You will say, how can you be cutting a circle and at the same time making a sleeve like this? Hmm. I'm going to show you. You see this point here? If you take this point and this place and you take it like this, does it not look like a circle? Yeah. And if you go like this, it's like you are writing the S. Let me show you easy method to cut this buff sleeve. I will also be showing you how I sew it in this dress so that if you want to sew it on your dress you already know how to go about it so with no further delay let us do it let us do it first thing i'm going to do is to fold my fabric into not too wide i will use the biceps measurement and then i'm going to take five inches what is that even for is a good question i will explain I will also measure 5 inches in the other side and now I will connect it. So this 5 inches is what I will be using to do the buff. I'm not going to touch it now. Now I'm going to take the length of the sleeve. Yeah, from this line here. The sleeve length is 18, but I'm going to take 19 for the same allowance. And I'm going to use another shock to mark out that 18 inches so that you will know where I have my same allowance and the length of the sleeve. I will do the same to the other side here. Now, let's take the armhole circumferences and also the bicep. First, I will take the bicep, which is 7 inches. I will also do 7 inches for the armhole to make this tutorial easy. And it's also okay because it's a buff sleeve. Yeah. I will mark it out. Now, I'm going to be reducing 2 inches from this 7 inches from the biceps. You see that? So, I'm going to mark out 5 inches and I will connect that 5 inches to where we have the ham hole. Yeah, you can see it here. Very good. At this point, I'm going to take one and a half inches. Check how I place my measurement, yeah? Yeah, I, I slant it. So I will measure one and a half inches out. 
That being said, from that five inches, I'm going to chalk quarter inches just to go into my sleeve a little bit so that I can connect my ham hole. You see that to create that circumferences of the ham hole. If the light is disturbing and you cannot see the mark very well, don't worry. I'm going to do a summary of it and I will use the shock to mark it out very well. Just follow up the instruction and you will get it. Okay. You may still be wondering what I will do with the five inches upwards that I have not touched. Don't worry. We are going to connect that as well. Okay. From this point of this bicep here, just create a cone you see how i'm making my hand or like you are going to draw a circle another way is like you are going to draw a s you know like you know a s can you see it from that corner there you are going to get it just watch what i do this is what i do yeah to make it easy The next thing is to cut out three inches for the cuff. Yeah, that is for the hand then, eh? three inches. So after that, we are just going to connect what the dots together. But I'm going to add a little allowance for the curve as well. Yeah. other color here is the seam allowance let me just go over to it now again so what we did here was five inches we mark it out and then we took seven inches for the ham hole and seven inches also that is the mark here right and then we mark five inches and then we mark it out and then we took one and a half inches and then we connect it from both the seam allowance up to this place and then the ankle is three inches plus one inches allowance. I just make it four. This is what you see here, this other color here, but this is the real length. So you must add same allowance. So as you can see, I have connected all the dots together. Here you have your sleeve and now let's cut it out. And I will also bring a fabric that I will use to cut it out. Yeah. I will do a rough gather of the sleeve, taking account the measurement of the ham hole. And what you can do with it is that after you gather a little bit, you can just bring out your top and use it to measure it. and I've added it to the top for my daughter and here is the skirt as well so I'm just going to finish sewing it 
and yes this is what i did and that is what you see her wearing and um yeah and i hope you enjoy this video if you know any method that we can achieve this leave please let us know share it i have a page called also Maggie beans on facebook and also on instagram Maggie underscore beans yeah so you can communicate with us there and we really would like to hear from you hey we do have a website also called megibees.com we said bees there we said necklaces we said access tree to do your diy so that you can achieve all the works that we do here so please check it out there and we'll be really happy to do what to really have you so Email us if you don't find something on our website. Maybe we have not shared it there. We will make it available for you on our website so that you can buy it. We ship worldwide. Okay. Thank you very much. So thank you all for watching. See you in our next video.